Hi there, welcome to my views and news, breaking news for you from the Amhara region where I reported two days ago that preparations were underway for rallies in different cities of the Amhara region in support of Ethiopian Prime Minister PM Abi and then we saw start of issuing of threats by Fano groups. Fano groups threatened people, threatened organizers. They warned them against taking out rallies, against participating in the rallies. Did the threats work or not? Were any rallies held in the Amhara region today or not? Nine locations in the Amhara region where rallies ongoing or rallies have ended. Uh, just a few minutes ago, I confirmed, I received pictures as well. I was able to confirm rallies in nine different parts of the Amhara region this morning. I'll have a look at these nine places where did Fano issue, issue threats. They issued particular threats last night about the rallies which were held today. Despite threats from Fano, rallies were held in those places. In one region of the one zone of the Amhara region, there were no rallies reportedly. Let's have a look at the nine places where rallies were held. Then we'll try to analyze the strength of rallies to can we say that uh, people uh, participated freely, they were not under duress or they were forced to attend these rallies? Uh, Dasi, first place, uh, first city where a rally in support of the uh, Prime Minister's government which came to power uh, initially in 2018, uh, in April. The first city today where rally was held is Dasi. Secondly, Kambolcha. Both Dasi and Kambolcha are in South Volo. Yesterday, East Amhara Fano issued a video message warning against organizing uh, and participating in these rallies in Dasi and Kambolcha. Pano's threats did not work in both cities. Separate rallies were held. We know that this uh, campaign of rallies uh, started from the Oromia region. Last Tuesday, we saw big rallies in Oromia and then Addis Ababa, Gambela, uh, Biji. Biji, Afar, Somali region, Sidama. Uh, we saw rallies uh, across Ethiopia. No rallies were held in Tigray and Amhara. And then this morning, uh, in nine cities of the Amhara region, rallies were taken out. Dasi and Kambolcha, two cities south of By the way, does Fano uh, have any presence in Dasi and Kambolcha? Uh, since last year, when Fano fighters and military uh, clashed and clashes ongoing since then, we did not see a single attack by Fano fighters inside Dasi or Kambolcha. So they have no presence in Dasi and Kambolcha. Uh, so it's understandable if rallies have been organized in Dasi and Kambolcha. East Amhara Fano is not mainly based here. Fano groups have been pushing towards Dasi. I think uh, they uh, managed to reach close to Hayek, if you remember. We saw some attacks, uh, clashes there between Fano military, but Fano never managed to enter, carry out any attack in Dasi, Kambolcha. Any last scale attack. So, Dasi, Kambolcha, South Wallo, two cities where rallies were held. Moderate strength. Secondly, Oromia special zone of the Amhara region. Again, it was expected that rallies would be taken out here. Oromos live here in large numbers. Uh, we have seen ethnic violence here between Romo armed people and Fano fighters in recent weeks. As the people were killed and injured in those incidents of violence. Uh, but Romos here are in strong position in South Wall to North Wall as well. Romo population 
uh, uh, Romo has uh, strength there in terms of population. Uh, so, in Romia special zone, firstly in Chifa Robert City, which is in Arthoma Farsi, a rally was taken out. Public rallies. Most of these rallies were public rallies. I think Dasi uh, or Kambolcha rally was inside uh, uh, a venue. The rallies in Romia special zone, public rallies. People marched on the streets of uh, the cities. Fourth place in Romia special zone, uh, second in Romia special, fourth in Amhara is uh, Senbate town. Senbate is in Jile Dimoga. Jile Dimoga, Vareda in Romia special zone. So, in two cities of Romia special zone, Senbate and uh, Chifa Robit, rallies were had. Two in Romia special, two in South Volo. Four. Uh, fifthly, Gondar. West Gondar. Rally was organized in Gandevoa. Where is Gandevoa? Gandevoa is situated on the main road, which leads from Gonda towards Matimma. Matimma is the border crossing on Ethiopia-Sudan border. Gandevoa is close to Matimma. Uh, so, rally was not taken out in Gonda city or close to Gonda city. Rather, it was held close to Sudan, Amhara, Sudan, Ethiopia border in Gandhavur, fifth place. Sixth place is Debre Tabor. For me, the most surprising rally, surprising venue is Debre Tabor because Fano fighters have carried out several attacks in Debre Tabor. Debre Tabor is in South Gondar. Uh, and in South Gondar, military Killed a top Fano commander, Wubante Abate, a few weeks ago. Maybe that is why Fano suffered a setback there. And military is in a position now to convince people to take the streets of Debre Tabor. In Debre Tabor city, a rally was held. We confirmed that pictures uh, we have received as well. Then, North Wallo, any rally in North Wallo? Yes, one was taken out in Marsa. I was expecting more rallies in uh, North Wallo, but I think East Amhara Fano and Colonel uh, Mogus uh, Zegai and Pantahan Mabao's uh, Fano factions operate uh, in North Wallo. So, no rallies in Kobo, in Vuldia, but rally in Marsa. Then eighth place, not surprising, Sikota. Sikota is a Vog Hemra zone. Argos live around the area in large numbers. And Fano fighters have been trying to gain foothold in Vog Hemra zone near Sikota. They have formed Sikota Brigade as well. But this area is not traditional stronghold of Fano fighters. So rally in Sikota, not surprising. Debark, Gondar, North Gondar. Where Fano fighters issued a statement last night warning the rally organizers, warning the participants. Still, a rally was held in Debark, North Gondar. Debark, Debart, North Gondar, close to these uh, places, is the stronghold, the base of uh, Massafent, Fano commander. A few days ago, military launched a major operation against Massafent. We don't know about the outcome of the operation. So far, no uh, details shared by Fano groups. Military claims it inflicted losses on uh, Massafent Fano group. So these are the nine places in the Amhara region where rallies have been taken out this morning. Till now. Uh, before uh, starting this video, I confirmed the nine places. Update you if I come to know of more rallies to incoming uh, hours. How big were the rallies? Were people forced to attend? Difficult to say. We cannot say that. Now, Fano fighters would say that people were forced. They were bribed. They were under duress. Uh, but uh, however, were they brought 
they attended the rallies. But most of the rallies were taken out, majority of the rallies was taken out in those areas where Pano groups don't have any uh, widespread presence. Any rally in Gojam. Uh, East Gojam, West Gojam. I could not confirm any major rally in support of the Ethiopian Prime Minister in Gojam. A bit surprising for me is that no rally was held in Ago Avi zone. Maybe we'll see more rallies uh, in the evening or tomorrow. But I think in Ago Avi zone, rallies can be organized. Fano has less presence there. In some other parts as well, rallies can be organized. We could see maybe second round of these rallies in coming days. So far, we can say Fano's threats did not work. They issued specific statements about today's rallies in the park, in uh, Dasi, Kambolcha, but people attended. Did they attend by force or freely? Don't, we don't know. But we'll see what happens after these rallies. Take a watch.